What if I told you that you could control the pose of any character in your generated images with just a few clicks? In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use advanced tools like Open Pose and Control Net to manipulate and customize stable diffusion poses using RunPod. Let's get started. First, we'll use RunPod to create an instance of Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. If you've never used RunPod, you can create an account using the link in the helper file in the description. On RunPod, we'll select Create an Instance using the Community Cloud. You can pick any option here, but I prefer the A5000. Click Deploy on whichever you chose. From there, pick Run Pod Fast Stable Diffusion. Increase the size of the container disk. Then click Continue and Deploy. From there, go to My Pods. You'll see your pod initializing. When it's done, click Connect. You first want to connect to a Jupyter Lab notebook to set up and configure everything. Open the A1111 notebook. Click the Run icon on the first row to install the dependencies. Then the next to install Automatic 1111. The next to download your model. I'll use 1.5, but you can specify another value if you prefer to use a different model. The next installs Control Net. For the purposes of testing things out, I change None to All. This will install all Control Net models. If you know you don't need all the models, you can select only the ones you need. Lastly, we'll start up Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. You'll see that it's now running. Let's go back to RunPod and click on Connect via port 3000. Now, we're in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. We'll navigate to Extensions, Paste the URL provided in the helper file, click Install, check for updates, and then apply and restart the UI. You'll receive an error message at this point, but don't worry. It's just because Automatic 1111 is unavailable while it restarts. Just give it a moment and then refresh your browser. Let's head over to the Open Pose Editor. Here, you can position the character figure however you like. And then click Send to Text to Image. Scroll down to Control Net. Click Enable and select the model from the list. Make sure to choose Open Pose from the list of models and ensure that it's compatible with the active version of Stable Diffusion, which is version 1.5 here. If the version doesn't match, you'll encounter an error. With the correct model selected, you can go to the top, write your prompt, and click Generate. You can also create multiple character poses at the same time. 
To do this, return to Open Pose, click Add to include a second character. Position the character as desired. Send it to text to image. Write your prompt and generate. And that's it. Hopefully you're feeling confident and controlling the pose of characters in your generated images. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Your support really helps us out. Until the next.